Thank you for staying tuned. If you just joined us, you're watching Business Morning on Channel's television. Well, bullish sentiments persisted in the bond and treasury bills market in the last trading day of the month of February, following the outcome of Wednesday's primary market auction. Well, let's get a better understanding of what is happening in that market. I'm being joined by the head fixed income at UBA, Bankole Odusoya. Good morning, Bankole. Thank you very much for coming through to us. Morning, now, there seems to be this heavy demand in the fixed income market. What's the catch there for the investors? Oh, well, uh, our yields remain high. Uh, what had happened was that before election, the yields on the treasury bills market, the one year end was at 15%. We had seen a gradual drop or marginal drop last week, um, two weeks ago, when the primary auction for treasury bills one year dropped to 14.95%. Uh, uh, there's been interest, but of course, uh, most of the participants wanted to wait till after election, and some simply didn't. Uh, despite the postponement, we saw that uh, last week, OMO auction by the central bank was oversubscribed. Uh, 720 billion naira was subscribed for the one year, while 60, 660 billion was sold. The same phenomenon or uh, same thing happened yesterday, where 1.2 trillion was subscribed for the one year instrument and 920 billion was sold. So yields have reacted in the secondary market. Uh, uh, what we are seeing or hearing now is that in the secondary market, rates for one-year securities are 13%. Uh, this is because there are doubts that the central bank may not reissue that particular maturity because every week they simply have to replace a maturing uh, security. So next week, Thursday, there are maturities, particular uh, treasury bills, and this will be replaced. Uh, with the kind of demand we're seeing from uh, FBIs, that's foreign portfolio investors, the, it, it, the downward trend is uh, sure. We had foreseen this, but honestly, it looks like the drop is very, very sharp and very steep compared to the gradual decline that we expected post-election. It's about the uncertainty of whether the uh, central bank is going to uh, offer OMO there. Yes, on the particular security uh, that was issued yesterday. What had happened prior to now was that the central bank would reopen uh, a particular one-year security uh, in between the week, sometimes as much as twice before, on th before the next Thursday. But uh, in the last uh, one or two weeks, it's just been one or more issuance per week. And then next week, going into next week, we expect them to offer a match uh, security uh, moving on to the next one, meaning that for if you were to buy the one that was offered yesterday, you would need to pick it up as low as 13% um, in the secondary market. This was won yesterday at 14.3, and the prior OMO to that stopped at 15%. So you can see the sharp drop that we are experiencing in the debt market. Uh, the FBIs right now are focused on the debt instruments because of the, uh, the volatility that was expected. And uh, we are not seeing so much action for the other side of, from the other side of the capital market, that is the equities market yet. Mm. So basically all action, all focus is on the debt market, the secondary market end right now. Now, looking at the month of February, of course, that's the election month. How would you assess the performance of um, that market generally in that month? And uh, what is your outlook for the new month? Well, uh, the month ended very active in a bullish trend, as expected. Once the election was done, even before a few days before the election, we started seeing demand by FBIs. That's the major drive. Going into March, we see this continuing. Of course, that's the end of the first um, quarter. Mm -hmm. And if you look at the bonds end, fewer bonds are going to be issued in the March um, uh, bonds auction. The 2025 uh, bond would not be issued, so it would just be 2023 and the 2028, meaning that just about 90 billion will be on offer compared to the 135 billion that would have been on offer normally, meaning that we have fewer securities but more money chasing the securities. So definitely rates are expected to drop uh, faster also on the bond end. In the bond market, yields are now at 13.8%. Uh, as at last auction, yields were around 14.8 levels. So we've seen about 100 uh, basis point drop in that market too. It's just bullish on the security on the debt market side right now, and we do not see this ending uh, soon.
All right, thank you very much uh, for your time. Bank Ole Head Fixed Income at UBA Group.